Hello everyone. Dun, dun, dun. It's the last week of the vlog for Broadway.com. Help! Backstage at Disaster. Uh, I'm Jennifer Smart. Uh, it's been quite an honor to do this for the last two months, which flew by. Uh, so I thought long and hard about what I was going to do this week and dry erase board and went back to the dry erase board and blah blah blah. Ultimately, I thought I want to be sincere uh, and I want to pay a little homage to my good friends Jack Plotnick and Seth Rudetsky for creating this show. I'll talk more about that in a second. But first, I have to honor a request that was made the first week from Broadway.com and then just last week by Jake Leibowitz, seconded by Weston G. Um, they asked me to do a little performance art piece called Need a Penny, Take a Penny that I did with Seth a long time ago. Um, and Broadway.com asked that I do an impression of the wonderful and the talented Miss Bernadette Peters, who is one of my idols. So I always try to do this with love, but impressions are, you know, sometimes they're irreverent. I thought, I thought I'd combine the two for a split second. I'm not going to do the whole thing, Jake and Weston, uh, but I'll give you a li Let's do uh, If Bernadette we're doing need a penny, take a penny for one hot second. So it would go a little something like this. Need a penny, take a penny, have a penny, live a penny. That's it. There you go. I hope you're satisfied. Um, anyway, uh, but this week, yes, uh, this is going to be entitled Recipe for Disaster. Thank you, Roger Bart, for the title. Because I was thinking, I want to ask my co-stars. I'm not going to be able to ask everyone, because there's I'll have a, I have a time limit. Uh, but I'll ask as many as I can. What their favorite moment is in the show, i.e. their ingredient. There are so many little ingredients that go into Disaster Musical. Hence, Recipe for Disaster. And uh, thank you so much to Jack and Seth, because they created the darn thing. It's their recipes, boo. So I'll go first. I have so many moments. I'm going to ask everyone what is the one ingredient other than one of their own that they just love to watch or listen to every single night. So mine is <clears throat> Seth Rudetsky on the balance beam. Stop it. I watch it nearly every night. It's so good. And Broadway.com, please superimpose a photo of Seth on the balance beam. Here! You guys... This has been truly my honor to represent our show. This is one of the most fabulous groups I've ever worked with. I hope I featured each and every one of them enough because they deserve that and more. I love them all, and I love you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Let's see what they say. Bye. Hi, Travis. Hi, Jen. So, uh, first of all, who do you understudy in the show? We never covered that. I understudy Adam Pascal. Amazing. He's going to be brilliant. I can't wait for you to go on. Real quick now, what is your favorite ingredient in our show? There's so many favorite ingredients in the show, but one that particularly pops out for me, there's a moment during Act 2 where a bunch of us are backstage on the left, um, but you are in a scene with Faith Prince, and Faith Prince has this amazing monologue with a scarf in her mouth where she's just saying like, bitch, bitch. Bleep that out, Broadway.com. Beep, beep, beep. And then you say, after a long pause and laughter, you just say, don't lecture me, and you're brilliant. <laughs> Okay, you know what that is? That's called a proud smile. My girlfriend Sally Wilford told me that. That's when you're hoping you don't smile, but you can't help it. So you're going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, thank you. I'm honored. Thank you so much. What can I say? You're a star. You are too. Wait till it goes on. Boom. Roger Bart. Hello. Hi. What is your favorite ingredient in the show when you're not other than one of your own? The moment when I need a quick pick-me-up is when I... I run downstairs and I catch it just in time to see Adam Pascal in the midst of a terrible, terrible earth tremor, <laughs> trying to balance his his drink tray mm -hmm. and and uh, and his very magic magical comedy <laughs> feat. Agreed. That's my very favorite. And a lot of us witness will race to watch Roger watch him because he enjoys it I so enjoy much. I enjoy it so completely immensely. Yay, <laughs> Kevin. Yes. Dear, what is your favorite ingredient in the show, other than one of your own? Well, I don't really like actors in general, so <laughs> huh? instead I, I like to watch the dummy fall from the ceiling. Yes. It's so different every night. It's so <laughs> spontaneous, and, and you can never predict what he's going to do. <laughs> um, as opposed to most of the other actors who give the same performance <laughs> night after night. <laughs> I enjoy the dummy. <laughs> Bravo. Hi, Adam. Hi. So, ingredient, go. Ingredient. 
SAT or DIY night. <laughs> <laughs> that is Rachel York. <laughs> In it to win it. Oh, uh, yes! Favorite. Favorite. Yeah, Watch it every night. Yay. <laughs> love it. Okay, Lucrito. <laughs> Ingredient. Go. Uh, Kevin Chamberlain when he laughs. When you talk of the show? Yeah. When he does his introduction. Oh, and that's the first scene with me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. And he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it. It's just it's so. It was perfect. Ah! No, it was. It was full. It was full caricature, which Kevin has is a great character He's a great actor. Caricature actor. That's a joke in our show. We don't mean it. We always go around and say, "I really love your caricature work." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Carrie yeah. and Seth have joined us, and they know the question ingredient in the show. Carrie, go. Uh, my absolute favorite is when the body drops. Just like Kevin. I always listen to it, and it yep. makes me laugh every single night. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Mr. Lee, by the way, that was a last minute joke we wrote to replace another joke. So it just goes to show you could always replace a joke with a better joke. I have such a specific moment, but waiting to go on for Knock on Wood, Rachel York and I are off stage, and Catherine Rickefort is gambling, and she's not even facing the audience. And she's so crazy. Her acting is so amazing and focused, like putting it in, watching. I'm obsessed with her acting. I'm like, I've never seen anyone more in the moment, and yet not even having the audience watch her. I just watch her. I'm obsessed with how good she is. You have to be so focused. Oh my God, I love her. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Shout out to the ensemble. There's never a small part, I'm telling you. And in this show, there's small parts in this show. But <laughs> she makes the most out of it. I'm here with our newest cast member, Brandon Rubendahl. What's up? And Brandon, who do you cover in the show? Okay, so I'm the swing here. So I cover the three um, three guys in the ensemble, and then I cover Max Crum. As Scott, I don't As see Scott. the resemblance no, at no, all. No, not a... Not even close. No. That's crazy casting. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, so uh, what is your favorite ingredient oh in my the God. show? My favorite, favorite moment? My favorite moment is hands down um, Faith Prince's tap dance in the set top. Uh, no, end of act two. It's like kills me, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 100%. Mm. And then it's just, it, it just keeps going in this oh, it's big just production like so number. Silly. It's like the best thing of the moment. I, yeah. yeah, whatever. You love it. It's and you're going gonna to be tapping that, I'm sure. Yeah. Not tapping that. Oh! Tapping that. that got, <laughs> we got dirty. <laughs> What's dirty. That, what happened here? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, I'm blushing. Bailey. I, for one thing, I love your impressions. You're a very good impersonator. And uh, to that end, what is your favorite ingredient in the show of the many, many that I know you love? My favorite is when Roger comes out with the sharks on his arms and says, People, this man, this brave, brave man saved my life. He's, he's, he's a hero. <laughs> you sound just like him. Yes, high five. You're very talented. He should be on Broadway. Max, favorite ingredient, go. My favorite ingredient is when you say, Jesus Christ. <laughs> at the or end of Act when, One. Yeah, at the end of Act One, you're Jesus Christ. <laughs> or when um, Jackie says, it sounds like everybody's knocking on wood. Because <laughs> it's so literal. Yeah, it it's is. It's so it dumb. It is in her soft D with it's, no voice. It's so wood. literal. It is. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Rachel. Hey. What is your favorite ingredient in the show? My favorite ingredient in the show is when Faith Prince sings along with Bailey the Troll in Ben. And normally the song goes, you've heard Michael Jackson saying, Ben, most people would turn you away. But now I will never hear the song the same because now uh, Faith has her Tourette's moments during the show. So it's, I used to say, you, I and me. <laughs> Anyway, that's my favorite part of the show. Excellent. One of my favorite parts of the show. I know, it's so hard to narrow down, right? There, there are many parts. There's too many. One of them. You are perfect, Rachel. <laughs> You're perfect. You're very sweet, thank you. Inside and out. Faith, what's your favorite ingredient? Oh, it would have to be Roger Bart in the second act when he says, oh, I don't have to take the blame for something nobody can control. You'll see. I'll get us all out of this. <laughs> And I laugh every time. Thank God <laughs> Thank I have a bag in yeah. front of my mouth and a scarf. Yes, ma'am. That's the thing about Roger. We all he, he makes us all laugh every single night, and it's 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 a it's a challenge. Yes, because he holds for sometimes thirty seconds. <laughs> it's an eternity. <laughs> Thank you, Faith. Hello and goodbye. I never can say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye. <laughs> I have enjoyed this even more than I thought I would. 
two months flew by, uh, and P.S. There are so many great moments in the show, and everyone was telling me, but I don't have just one, but I don't have just one, but I don't have just one. Uh, there's so many favorite ingredients. And I want to thank everyone here at the Needlelander Theater, the house staff. I'd like to thank the stagehands for Fabulous Dorman and everyone associated with Disaster. Um, I specifically want to thank my sound mixer. That's one of my most important ingredients in the show, Mr. John Dory, because uh, I am all over the map in this show, and I he is my right arms out there. So thank you, John, for mixing such a great show. I think that's it, but I'm gonna miss you. And um, this vlog was entitled Help, so thanks to family and friends and our people. And thank your family and friends and people too, because without them, where would we be, right? All right, well, this has hardly been a disaster in my heart. I've enjoyed every moment. And so on that note, <laughs>